Here at At The Music, we like reviewing music, but we also like playing music. Here's our new small core group, Tiny Throw. Playing you our brand new single, Tiny Baby Sparrow, off our new record, Precious Little Memories. One, two, three. Tiny, tiny baby sparrow, tiny baby, tiny baby sparrow. What does your disco sound like? My disco sounds like a symmetrical beat, a throbbing bass line, a sampled diva and the gnashing teeth of gacked hipsters. My disco's disco sounds pretty similar, but my disco's music sounds completely different. Zach, what did you think of my disco's new record, Severe? They're always a band that's taken themselves very seriously and I think kind of getting that cult reputation around Melbourne and Australia. Mm. Uh, lends a band to be taking themselves even more and more mm. seriously. But there was, I think, a degree of kind of like a fun element to my disco as well, up until now. Like this is very much, it's a, I mean, the, the record cover is like black and white and it's, the record cover is so, it looks almost exactly like if you've been to like Berlin Atonal or any mm. of these like kind of Berlin industrial festivals. The des, even the design of the record is very much predicated on industrial imagery. It's the same kind of image you'd see as when you see these kind of, Berlin industrial style techno nights around Melbourne now yeah. as well. Everything, photos of warehouses, yeah. very washed out, black and white. Yeah. Um, and the sound uh, follows suit. It's a very dirty, dark, yeah. serious record. There's no light or humour or anything in it. Again, they've never been a band for a lot of humour. No. But this is particularly like, it feels very like ne of the moment yes. in terms of yes. this, you know. Certainly in terms of this obsession with relentless bleakness and darkness. Mm. Some of the ideas don't necessarily justify the length. Like the opener is a huge slow burner, but I don't think I was won over after eight minutes. They write on this whole like, when's it gonna like finally burst or explode, but it never does, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. So sort of like ceaseless tension building. It's a very good record. It's a good record. Mm. It's a very good record. I'm gonna give it uh, four Zacks. And it's gonna get the same from me. The 80s when Prince, MJ and Madonna reminded us how much fun we could be having, right before Nirvana and Radiohead reminded us that we're actually deeply depressed. Well now, Neon Indian wants us all to have a good time again. But Matt, shouldn't he just fuck off and leave me alone? I think this is a very competent record. Perhaps lacking a little bit in personality because it is so competent. And the production is so slick and there's just so much shit going on all the time. You kind of lose a bit of the the pop hooks because it's just so densely layered. But it's inherently impressive. The issue is that none of the songwriting is particularly interesting or exciting. None of the melodies are particularly catchy. I'd say it's quite a long record. He calls it a double album, which is maybe a stretch. It's about 55 minutes. There's really only a couple of tracks on there that are like genuinely kind of fun pop hooks. And the rest of them are kind of these grooves that are, you know, Again, intricate, I mean, you barely get through five seconds without a sound whizzing past you, but it's mm. essentially arbitrary. Mm. Like, because he's not actually building up soundscapes that are particularly um, gorgeous or interesting or fun or funky, so much as he is just sitting there and making sure that every kind of bar has a new little kind of synth sound to mm. kind of rock up. I was worn down and bored. I was like, <laughs> yeah. yeah, I'm just like, I don't get So it. much side chaining yeah. as well. I, yeah. like, I don't know how much of a shit I give. Maybe I'm a prick. Maybe I'm a piece of shit, you know? And maybe it's good. I don't fucking know. I'm not having such a good time in my life. Maybe if I was happy, I'd enjoy it, you know? Might even get four Zacks. Yeah, who knows, man? Yeah. Why, why, I'm giving this guy shit. He's going out there doing something with his life. I'm just shitting on his record, you know? Yeah, it's probably a nice guy. It's too. probably a nice guy, too. Yeah, yeah. three Zacks and I forgot you. Okay. That's uh, three Zacks. Sparrow. Was that bullshit? You're completely out of tune. I can't tune the guitar, Zach. It's too small. Maybe if you weren't dipping your fingers in chocolate all the time, they wouldn't be fat, fat guy fingers. I don't know if you fucking noticed, but there's no music coming out of the guitar. Wait, it's th there's no music coming out of the bongos. That doesn't stop me. 
It's a shit genre, Zach. Go fuck it's yourself. It's a shit genre. Go Small fuck your... Go fuck you. Go fuck yourself. Don't make the bongo sell you. Fuck you. Tell uh, me to fuck off God. yourself. If you're going to tell me to fuck myself... You can do it in case. Do it in... Fuck myself. Fuck yourself. Fuck yourself. Fuck yourself. Fuck.